thank you so much for joining me and today I have a Lush haul and this is my Easter order. So I didn't order everything off the Easter you know, range but this is the stuff that I did get and before I go into the haul I thought I would do an update from the last video I posted yesterday about how I did a Lush experiment on turning the solid naked shower gels into back into a liquid and let me just show you this I have to show you this this is so cool okay so what I blended up was the little bottle of the tender as the night naked shower cream and I will show you the exact one that I got it was from my with love gift and it was the 120 grams okay so this is 120 grams here I know it's wrapped up but this is um I want to say this is rose jam. Yeah, just an example to show you the size wise. So this was 120 grams and I did use some of it. So it was a little bit smaller than 120 grams. Okay. And from that, this is what I got. Okay. I got 240 grams worth of product. Now I did put this in an empty honey. I washed the kids pot. So after I blended it up in the video, I went back and I decided, you know what, I'm going to add a little bit more water. So I did portion it out and I did put another fourth cup. So in total, a half cup all together or two fourths. And then I did have that little extra splash in there, you know, like I had in the last video. And you got to see this, okay? This is amazing. I got basically double the size of the product and this is like the perfect consistency. I have to show you this, okay? So it's whipped. It's fluffy, it's really creamy, and I even had a little bit left over that wouldn't fit into this, and I used it in the shower, and it performs amazing. Creamy, just like a shower cream, very moisturizing, very smooth to the skin. It has a very soft and bubbly lather. It's just, it works amazing, and honestly, I loved doing that experiment so much. I'm going to do it again, but with a shower gel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'm going to go to the store and get some plastic bottles and a label maker and try to do it with a shower gel. And you just got to see this, like it's perfect. It's like this foamy, creamy consistency. It's very scoopable out of the pot here like this. See that? It's like whipped and perfect. You can probably put this in a bottle too, but I like putting it in the pot like this just because it's so, so fluffy now. But yeah, you could totally probably put this in a bottle and squeeze it out because it did get thinner. But oh gosh, this turned out amazing. I am so, so happy with the results after adding some more water to it. So if you're curious, I just wanted to show you that. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep doing it. I think it's amazing. You get basically double the amount of product from one little thing. So I, I think it's incredible. All you have to do is just add water and blend it up. Mine blown, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's amazing. All right. Oh, sorry for the shaky. All right. Let's get into the haul now. The Easter haul. Okay. All right. Let's start off. And then I can't wait to do my Q&A video. Um, I did get a couple questions so far, so I can't wait to do that, but we'll see. All right. So this is my Easter stuff. And the first thing I want to pull out, oh gosh, I'm going to make a mess of this, but I don't care. <laughs> is this little gift here oh i thought it was adorable one because of the knot wrap and two because it looks like a little fish <laughs> like you could totally display this let me put the box on the side here you could totally display this just as it is take the sticker off the bottom obviously and you know have it out or like keep this part here and stuff it once you take the products out just have it as a little fish in your house i think this is so cute and this gift here is the big fish gift and in this I wanted mostly get this for the little shower cream, but in this gift has the, I don't know how to say this French name, but it's um, Poisson d'Avril bubble bar, the little fish one, and then April showers bath bomb, and then the here comes the sun naked shower cream. Okay, so let's just open it. I'm going to see if I have my preparedness here. I hope this video doesn't get too long, but... Oh gosh, there it goes. Okay, I did have to cut the ribbon to get this open, but all right, let's open this. And I love this little box. You could totally keep this and stuff it with something to fill it up with. And I'm just going to see how to open this here. It's a little difficult. Oh wait, there we go. So you pop it off from this bottom portion here, if you're wondering, it makes it a little easier. And then it just folds right open like this. 
Okay. Ooh, ooh. I got a lot of smells coming up at me, and it smells amazing. Okay. It's, this is the April Showers bath bomb. I love the look of this. It's so cute, and this has definitely got to be a favorite one for the Easter rain. Since I've seen a lot of people's collections, they say that this is probably like their favorite. This would pair really well with the um, Bob ba Bar. Yeah, with the Bob Bar because it both has that like violet scent. Very sweet, very floral. I think this would pair amazing with the Bob Bar. This would this would be really great with that. Oh, okay, all right, keep going. All right, and then here we have the little fishy. So cute. Oh, it's definitely a little dusty there. Try to get it off. And what I thought was really cool is I noticed that the bath bomb, the free rangers, and this one both have that moisturizing melt in here. So you do kind of get a little extra moisture in your bath with that bath bomb and with this bubble bar. Very cool. Oh, I love this. Very zingy. This is definitely a wake you up bubble bar. This is really citrusy and uplifting and I absolutely love the scent of this. And it's huge too. This is a decent sized bubble bar. You could definitely get at least three baths out of this. In my opinion, that's probably how much I would get out of it. But you know, you can portion it however you like. All right, and the last thing we got here, oh gosh, this got super dusty, is the shower cream, okay? Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's just mine, but it smells a little powdery. It's probably because it's covered in powder, duh. But it does smell very orangey, a little bright. More of like a natural orange scent though. I'm probably gonna have to rinse this off though to get the full effect of the scent. But yeah, again, this one here, I wanna say is a hundred or a hundred and twenty. No, this is a hundred, wow. So compared to the sizes to these, this is definitely a little bit bigger than this one, but yeah. Oh yeah, all right. Can't wait to use that. I'm gonna set this to the side now. Oh gosh, peanuts everywhere. Of course, I'm gonna make a mess. Whatever. <laughs> all right, let's keep going on. All right, yes. And this is the Free Rangers. This is the second thing I pulled out of here. Let me take that off there so I'm not shaking the camera as much. All right, awesome. So this is a definitely two bath bath bomb, or if you feel selfish, dump this hole in. And it smells exactly like the comforter. I was so excited about that because I knew watching other people's videos, they were describing this as the comforter scent. I was like, oh, I have to get one of these. You could totally pair this with a comforter bubble bar and have a loaded bath full of the scent of the comforter. Just that really black currant berry smell. Oh, gorgeous. Love that. Okay, I'm going to put this down over here. So, all right. And then we have our samples, which I promise I won't forget till the end because I always do that. So I'm going to set that to the side. Oh yeah, all right. And then this is the, here comes the sun. Oh, not here comes the sun. This is the, um, the bunny, the bunny shampoo bar. I can't believe I'm forgetting the names of these. I'm a lushy, I should know, but little cute paper here with your ears and a little pom-pom here. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, this is really nice. Okay, so I was worried that this was gonna smell super, super lemony like the Montalbano, which you can still get in the US, but on the UK website, you cannot get that shampoo bar anymore. And this smells more of like a sweet lemon scent. So compared to the Montalbano, which I'm so glad that somebody responded to my um, thing when I asked somebody, <laughs> I can't remember, Blech. but I did ask somebody if this smelled more lemony than the Montalbano, and it doesn't now that I have it in my hand. This smells more of like a sweet lemon. So if you want a sweet lemon uplifting shampoo bar for the morning, this is definitely a good one to go with. And it does have apple cider vinegar in there, but you can't smell it. But apple cider vinegar is great for your hair, by the way. Oh gosh, that's awesome. Oh, I have to get another one of those. That smells so uplifting. Oh, that's like a great morning shower, shower product. Okay, and then here we have the carrot soap. These this is huge. I hope they portion these out in the U.S. like this, but I loved how big this was. It's a nice big pie slice. Oh, and it does smell exactly like the carrot bubble bar, which I will be ordering that in a future order, but that is a repeat item. The carrot bubble bar and then the um, golden egg are both repeat items, but they're amazing. So I'm definitely going to have to get those. And this smells great. I love this. I can't wait to use this. It's going to be a nice creamy lather. That says, seen in other people's demos. 
And then this is what I'm super excited about is the cream egg bubble runes. Um, not only because there's three different looks, but since the description is very spearminty. Oh my god, I love mint. I love mint. Okay, so the Mallow Mint Bubble Bar Bar is my all-time favorite bubble bar from the kitchen. And this has got to be a close second. One, because of the scent. I love spearmint and mint. It's really good for your skin. It's stimulating and it tingles and it really loosens up sore muscles. So mint is a great, great ingredient for sore muscles and achy, 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 uh, achiness. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm just excited, but this smells super spearminty and I love the scent of spearmint. So I'm definitely going to have to get more of these. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see how this feels on the skin in the bath. Oh, oh, that's amazing. And then this is the Seven Deadly Spins bubble bar, and mine does not spin. But again, like I said in the past video, I just pop these out anyways, because honestly, they don't spin, they don't work for me, I don't care. I just pop out the wood, put them in a strainer, and let it do its thing. Ooh. And this is kind of, people have mentioned that this is kind of pr pricey for a small bath. For a bubble spinner and it is it is a little bit pricey but it smells amazing it basically smells like all their other kind of bubble spinners there's that really lemony scent but this has more of a sweet lemon scent so if you do like sweet lemon or citrusy scents this is a good one to get and just the look of it it looks like a golden snitch man like harry potter all the way oh oh yeah that's gonna be great all right so i'm done now let's get on to these samples okay Crack open this bag here and I did ask for solid samples um, in this bag but I think they said of course they sometimes do this they'll put a sticker on the bag that says sorry we do not uh, we do not sample some of the products you have requested oh this is the one that I had specific requests for but anyways all right yes soaps I love getting soap samples because their soap samples are so nice and big I don't know, but I love them. And Parsley Porridge is my all-time favorite soap, which is surprising that I don't have a slab of this. I'm going to have to get a full slab, but I have so many samples, I really don't need one. But I love Parsley Porridge. Oh, it's the Italian in me loves the Parsley Porridge. <laughs> I don't know. That was a bad accent. Forget that you heard that. Oh, Fig and Leaves. This is my all-time favorite, like, spring and fall soap. It's just so earthy and, like, leaves scented. I know, I know that sounds weird, but I love that. Fig and Leaves is my all-time favorite, and I do have a slab of that. And Honey, I Wash the Kids. Look at how cool this is. I love it when they have this top portion here with the honey comb part. Again, classic, gorgeous, amazing Honey, I Wash the Kids scent. And then I do have a Dream Cream Self-Preserving Body Lotion, and I love the self-preserving compared to the regular version because it sits on the skin well, very, very moisturizing and creamy, and um, it does, in my opinion, absorb a little bit quicker. I don't know. I like the thick consistency of the self-preserving version as opposed to the regular version. So I do, I am a fan of Dream Cream, but the self-preserving version is better, definitely. And then I do have a Rehab Shampoo, and this is pretty good. I don't know if I would get a bottle of this, but I do like the Rehab Shampoo. It's pretty nice. So anyway, that is my whole haul and little update about my um, <laughs> experiment here. And so I can't wait to not make another video featuring a shower gel this time instead of a shower cream and see how the differences of that vary. So yeah. So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so, so much for watching. I can't wait to do my Q&A video. And if you have any more questions or comments or whatever, you know, subscribe to all that good stuff down below. Please let me know. Um, I'd love to answer and do a Q&A video for you. So yeah, I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day or night and bye.